Yep. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. Nice. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally broke the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. All right. This will be interesting. I was going to say, no uh, little details immediately. I'm surprised. Not. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. The expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. <laughs> All right. I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Yeah. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is... Uh. What? Hello? Is anyone there? Sure is. Easy as pie. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. All right. Excuse me. Can you tell me where to go, please? It's just up these stairs. All right. Let's get to it. How are you today, sir? I want. Uh, let's go in anyway. Hey there. Ah, Ted. Oh. Good to finally see you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you're someone else. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But. Luckily, hello, sir. Ronstadt Have a lovely day. Has a solution for that. Imagine this: android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow—a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine. 
an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there, android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired, WB. Nice. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. There we go. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. What are you thinking? Robert Knox. Just scan one of the images. Whoa. Robert Knox. Damn it. Yeah. Robert Knox down. Now for the heir to the Kronstadt Empire. There we go. Easy as pie. I didn't even kill him. There we go. Oh my god, talk about it just in time. Move along. There you go. the fuck do I get in? There we go. I'm all good. Location check. That's the not here. Even with the added security, I'm seeing people walking around here that I've never seen before. Who knows? I'm all good. And there we go. Sierra's coming in. I don't Everyone know why it wasn't giving me now. the mechanic uh, thing, so I'd do that instead. Targets down. Well done, 47. Well Head for done. an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Yeah, just escape through the sewers, why don't I? Yay, that works.
<laughs> Just escape through the sewers. The new army. Nice. I don't know why I wasn't given the um, mission story for the mechanic though, but I know it wasn't Silent Assassin because I got caught because I didn't know where the fuck the mechanic outfit was. Because I know the last time I did that, I technically um, I was able to stumble upon one person that was a mechanic, so. Apparently, you can be the flamingo. Skip. Dead ends. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. <laughs> oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. Yeah. <clears throat> If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 